Hi, welcome to my channel. In object oriented programming, we use inheritance mechanism to inherit or use methods and variables of parent class, which we mark as either public or protected. This makes it easier to reuse code, which means you can avoid repetitive codes and our code becomes more readable. Similarly, JPA provides four inheritance strategies that we use to map class hierarchies and can share attributes and properties of the superclass with children who are extending it. In this video, we are going to see our first inheritance strategy in action, which is mapped superclass. So let's get started. Right now in our project, we have this domain model. Every table that we have in our database has its own entity class. But here, if you have noticed that these two entities have number of similar attributes. Now, our goal is to move these common attributes to another abstract class and share these attributes with different entities by using one of the JPA inheritance strategy, which is mapped superclass. Then we will see how to query and process data from tables when this strategy is in place. So let's see how to do this. For this example, I have created these two tables, doctors and patients. And here you can see that these two tables have number of similar columns from ID to email ID, right? So let's go to Visual Studio Core and first create entities for these two tables. Inside the entities folder, let's create doctor.java. Annotate this with at entity at table name equal to doctors. Okay. Now here we are going to define only those columns which are not similar. For example, in doctors table, we have these columns room number and specialization, which are actually by name are not similar. Okay. So let's define these two columns here private string room number and private string specialization source action get a setters okay right now let's create entity for patient name equal to patients right and here we have symptoms and health history which are different private string health history right so section get a setters save this now let's create an abstract class and put all those similar columns there Inside the commons folder, create a file person info.java. Okay, abstract class, annotate it with mapped superclass. Now, here we are going to define all these columns private int id, private string name, age. address city contact number email id right right check source action getters and setters okay now this is id field and this is going to be generated automatically so at id at generated value strategy generation type dot identity okay save this now let's extend this class extends person info extends person info save this now create repositories for these two entities Let's say doctor repository. 
interface. extends JPA repository type of doctor and integer say this create one more for patient interface at repository extends type of patient and integer save this now let's create a service and I'm going to create a single service class to access these repositories so let's say doctor patient service dot Java right annotate this class with at service and auto wire port repositories Okay. Now let's create a constructor. Now let's create two function here, one to add doctor and one for the patient. Public doctor add doctor and we are going to pass the object of doctor here return doctor repository dot save right now let's create a similar function to add a patient return patient repository dot save okay now save this now let's create endpoints to access these functions inside the controller folder create a file hospital controller dot java okay annotate this class with address controller and then request mapping should start with hospital right now auto wire the service class right now let's define our endpoints to add doctor we are going to pass the object of doctor in request body so at request body doctor doctor okay then return doctor patient service dot add doctor doctor now save this annotate this function with add post mapping and here we are going to hit this endpoint add doctor okay now similarly create one more endpoint to add a patient Add patient okay and instead of add doctor let's call the function add patient now save this run the application go to postman we are going to hit this endpoint add doctor and I have already added this JSON string and it has all attributes that we require to add a doctor right so let's hit send okay the response status is 200 and we are getting the data which has been added into our table so let's cross check this data in our table okay now similarly let's add a record of patient hit send and the status is 200 right it is also possible to define a column in mapped superclass which has different name but the data type is same 
For example, let's add one more field in our doctors and patients table. Go to properties, add column, let's say visit date, okay, type of date. Save this and similarly, let's add a column in doctors table and let's say joining date. The data type should be same, right? Now save this, go back to Visual Studio Code the terminal and go to person info.java let's say private date and entry date okay now add temporal type save this source action and get us and set us right now since we have different column names in our table, we need to tell JPA that to which column this entry date attribute should be mapped. So let's do that. Go to doctor.java, annotate this entity class with attribute override. And inside this, we need to set few attributes. First one is name. And here we need to write the attribute name which we just define in our mapped superclass, which is entry date, right? And the next parameter that we need to set is column. And here we need to specify the table field name to which we want to map this entry date. So at column name equal to, in case of doctor, we have joining date, okay? save this similarly we need to do the same in patient.java class import this and in our patients table we have column name as visit date okay now run the application let's change this a bit Let's say Sukhpal Singh and 348. Now here we need to add one more attribute which is entry date. Let's say 05 and 18. Yes. Hit send. The status is 200. Let's check the data in table Sukhpal Singh and now we are getting date as well okay let's do the same with patient as well add entry date eighteen. okay say this time on the send status is okay and our data is also okay right so this is how in JPA we inherit common attributes from superclass this is it for this video if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel in next video we will see the next inheritance strategy until then bye bye and Take care.